the verdict and order his release. Hard work and dedication. We believed in ourselves and we had help inside and outside, especially you, Lisa. You pushed the case to the world. On July 31st, while many were glued to the Jamaica Court of Appeal live feeds, Cartel says he was on the phone talking with Sedem. She was like, babe, I'm on my way to get you. And then when the verdict was read, she's like, baby, you're free. Cartel tells me he wrote hundreds of songs while in prison. Less than 24 hours after he got out, his new 12-track mixtape called First Week Out was released. We have albums worth of songs. So a lot of writing about the situation, not about the situation, like a plethora of, of, of lyrics. For now, the focus is on reconnecting with family members and recovering from the health problems that put his life on the line. Before I go, I just want to say to the fans, thank you for the love. Thank you for being there by my side, my extended family. Thank you for having faith in me. Cartel tells me he's looking forward to regular medical care to reverse the Graves disease he suffers from, which causes some physical disfiguration and strengthen his heart. In prison, his personal physician could only visit him once every three months. His goal now is to regain his health and be back on stage before the end of the year. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.